All right, Larry Kruger here at Levi's getting ready for practice. And one of the things that's really clear with the 49ers at this point, with the cutdown coming on the 29th, is that, man, the jobs are wide open at the backup defensive end spots. Nick Bosa remains unsigned. Drake Jackson remains out with a hamstring injury. Um, there's a lot of question marks on the outside edge. And there are players, as we approach the cutdown around the league, the Niners have, that will be available, you would think, or potentially will be available for trades. Um, and I think the Niners are going to look into each and every single one of them. Um, they've already brought in Dalen Hayes and released him. They brought in Ladarius Hamilton, and, and, and he's getting a look. Uh, they've brought in Speaks, um, who doesn't look great. And they, their depth at defensive end is questionable. Taco Charlton, it was announced before the preseason game on Saturday that he was put on season-ending IR. So his season's done. That's a major blow because Taco had been playing really, really well at defensive end. So what is the solution for the Niners? Well, I guarantee you this. Every free agent that's out there, they're looking at right now behind the scenes. I can guarantee you this. Every single defensive end that they liked on other rosters, uh, they're examining right now in their personnel room, trying to find their fourth and fifth defensive ends. Bosa will be one. Jackson will be two. Cleveland Farrell will be three. But Robert Beal, is he on this team? Is Kerry Hyder on this team? Is Austin Bryant on this team? Um, who is going to be defensive end four and five and potentially six? So there are a number of veterans around the league that could shake free and could be available in trade. And let's go through the list right now. Carolina has the former Penn State defensive end, Yatir Gross Matos. Last year, he had a career high 54 tackles, but only two and a half sacks and 15 starts. But he's not old, he's only 25. Uh, Carolina, though, signed Justin Houston just a few weeks ago, and they obviously have Brian Burns. Gross Matos is entering his fourth and final year of his rookie deal. And Carolina also drafted D.J. Johnson in round three out of Oregon. So there's a lot of speculation that Yatur uh, Gross Matos could be available at a trade, and you might be able to get him for a, for a day two pick. And he's an interesting guy. 6'6", long arms, really athletic. Um, it just hasn't necessarily all come together for him as a, as, a, as a pass rusher. But, man, he's coming off a decent year last year. He's one. Another guy that, that might be out there is Shaq Barrett from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's 28, uh, 37 and a half sacks over the last three years with Tampa. He's gone to the two pro, pro Bowls over the last three years. Last year, though, he only played in um, eight games and only had three sacks, and he had a torn Achilles. So he's got two years left on his contract. Tampa's rebuilding. Uh, Tampa would save $31 million over the next two years if they trade him. Tampa also drafted Kalijah Kansi and Yaya Diaby in the draft, so they they may be looking to move on from Shaq Barrett. They may cut him, they may trade him, uh, but Shaq Barrett at age 30, I think he still has a little left in the tank. He could help. Houston is going young uh, in D'Amico's first year there, and they have a veteran defensive end, Jerry Hughes, who's 35, who can still go get the pass or go get the uh, quarterback. Uh, Houston wants to play Will Anderson. They want to play uh, Jonathan Greenard at defensive tackle. And here's Jerry Hughes. He's, you know, entering the last season of his contract. He had nine sacks last year and 10 tackles for a loss. He, this guy can flat out play, but he probably needs to be on a contender. That's a guy I could see the Niners trading for. Um, let's go to the next one. Jacksonville has Clavon Ch Chason, the former LSU first round pick in 2020. Uh, but he was drafted by the previous regime. He was not drafted by Trent Baalke. And so Chason has not come of age. He's only had three sacks in three seasons with Jacksonville. Played only nine games last year because of a knee problem. Had only 10 tackles all year. But he's only 24. He's a free agent at the end of the year. Um, maybe the Niners feel like they can, in, in a simple one gap, get up the field. Chris Kosarek's scheme, maybe they can feel like they can get the most out of Chase on. He's got a ton of speed and a ton of talent. So that would be interesting. Would they trade for Chase on? Uh, Detroit has Romeo Aquara, who's a 28 year old defensive end, only played nine games over the last two years with 14 tackles and three sacks. But he's two years removed from a double digit sack season. Uh, he's a free agent at the end of the year. Detroit will save about $2.5 million if they decide to move on from him. Um, then there's Rashawn Gary from Green Bay, who's a defensive end. 
Um, interesting player as well. You know, Rashawn Gary had 20 and a half sacks the last three seasons, but Green Bay's got Preston Smith, Green Bay's got Lucas Van Ness, they got Carl Brooks, uh, they got Devontae Wyatt. They have a number of different guys that they can lean on, and there's speculation that in a contract year that they may be willing to move on from Rashawn Gary, so he could be out there available. Uh, Washington's got Chase Young. They're not going to extend both Chase Young and Montez Sweat. So a lot of speculation that Chase Young, who was the 2020 Defensive Rookie of the Year, that he could be available in trade. Buffalo has A.J. Espinosa, um, who's only 24. Second round pick not that long ago. He's in the final year of his rookie deal. And Buffalo's got a lot of depth at, on, on the edge with pass rushing. They've got a lot of guys who are, you know, they got a lot of guys they can go to. Um, he's only had three starts in 43 uh, games in the league. But, man, final year of his contract, um, he's, he's really interesting. He's got a great motor. I loved him at Iowa. He's out there. He's available. Miami has Andrew Van Ginkle, the 24, 28-year-old edge rusher who ended Jimmy Garoppolo's year last year. <clears throat> uh, Van Ginkle had four sacks last year. He's set to be a free agent in March. He could be available. Uh, New England has Dietrich Wise, the defensive end, who, you know, he's a bigger bodied guy, 24 and a half sacks over the last six seasons. He had seven and a half last year. Uh, he's got three years left on his deal, but there's a lot of talk that New England and Bill Belichick may move on from Dietrich Wise. He could be available at the cut down. And then one of the more interesting guys as well is Carl Lawson of the Jets. The Jets have a really deep edge rusher group with Will McDonald and and um, just all the guys they have. they got five or six different good edge rushers. Carl Lawson's 28. He did have an Achilles in 2021, but he came back last year with seven sacks. He's a great athlete. He's a free agent at the end of the year. So just to put that, you know, just, just to give you a few names, if the 49ers are looking for, you know, um, you know more defensive end depth before, between now and week one against the Steelers, all those guys potentially could get traded and could be available. Once again, the list. Carl Lawson, Dietrich Wise, Andrew Van Ginkle, A.J. Espinosa, uh, Chase Young, or Montez Sweat, Rashawn Gary, who would be a phenomenal pickup, uh, probably cost you a little bit, Romeo Aquara, Clavon Chason, uh, Jerry Hughes, um, yeah, Yatur Gross Matos, and Shaq Barrett. So a number of really interesting names there to uh, – to take a look at and I'm sure the Niners are looking at every single one of them because they need some edge rush whether Nick Bosa signs or not but especially if Bosa remains unsigned they need edge rush but even if he does sign you know who's going to be defensive end number four and number five I think that's very much a question for the 49ers they don't have an answer for it yet and I guarantee you they're going to be dialing around the league looking at their various options via you know who gets cut and then who gets traded? The other team to look for at the at the cutdown is Dallas. Dallas has Dorrance Armstrong. Um, they've got you know Tyrus Wheat. They've got Junior Fajoko. Um, not to mention obviously Micah Parsons, Demarco, Demarcus Lawrence, um, you know Dante Fowler. I mean Dallas has a lot of defensive end depth. Sam Williams. Whoever gets cut in Dallas might be real attractive to the 49ers as well. All right, thanks for watching the Krug Show video. Uh, thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. or until they run out. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in Northern California. And thanks to all you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.